And we are right now seeing a historic number of unemployment claims in Ohio. More than 180,000 claims were filed last week alone. Of course, the end nowhere in sight. Two News reporter Deborah Bogart continues our team coverage of the economic impact of the virus. Well, the stimulus package that now is waiting for the House's vote calls for expanded unemployment insurance, specifically $600 a week on top of the state benefits. Now, some Miami Valley residents are wondering if this will be enough, while a local economist is tracking the long-term impacts this could have. The Senate has passed a historic stimulus package worth $2 trillion. It comes as 3.3 million Americans filed for unemployment for the first time last week shattering the previous record made in the early 80s. I think all of us, especially me working for a small business, not knowing if that business is going to be there once this quarantine or shelter in place is lifted, it's very unnerving. Part of the stimulus package is boosting unemployment insurance, proposing the federal government give jobless workers an extra 600 bucks a week on top of their state benefits for four months. Dr. Jeff Haymond, an economics professor at Cedarville University, fears this measure is premature. If the economy is doing well in, in you know, uh, two months, we should not be extending that. That will give, we were already having problems finding labor right before this. And if we get back on track, we could have that problem again. Heyman says the stimulus package has incentives for small businesses to stay open and keep their employees on the payroll. He adds there will be businesses that go under. But since the underlying issue is a health crisis, the economic downturn will end. Just as the, the viciousness of the downturn that we're going through right now is going to be matched by uh, an, a sharp upward swing on the other side. And it's going to be a lot of opportunity. So unfortunately, we've got to get through the pain of the next two weeks, four weeks, six weeks, eight weeks. We don't know. That's the wild card in this situation. Again, nationally, this is one of the biggest spikes in new jobless claims, and some economists fear that this could be just the beginning. In fact, some estimate that more than 40 million Americans could be jobless by April. Reporting live in Montgomery County, Deborah Bogart, 5 on 2.